Tyler's family homestead and I just wanted to drop in and show you guys our monthly shopping haul and how I feed our family of six. Uh, so this month is a five week pay period for us, um, but we still budget the same. So we budget normally about $500 to $600 a month to feed our family. But ever since the pandemic has hit, I've been saving us a lot of money. Um, we've actually been able to get our budget down to anywhere from $400 a month to $450. Uh, and, that's, and that's still with me doing a lot of convenience buying. Um, so today we did a Walmart pickup and tomorrow we're doing a Sam's Club pickup. So I'm gonna show you our Walmart pickup today and we're only doing pickups. We're not actually going in the stores, which is seeming to save us quite a bit of money. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what we bought. So guys, here is what I have bought for the month. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of convenient foods in this bulk order that I did. It's just, we're working on this farm, trying to get the dozier work done, a lot of cleaning, and we've decided to homeschool our kids. So I've been doing a lot of research on that. So convenience is a little more important to me this month than anything else, just for my sanity. So here is what we bought. Um, I don't have the prices, but I will give you the guys the total at the end of the video. We bought chips, lots of the store brand macaroni and cheese. Uh, there is some corn chips, pretzels. These are good snacks for the kids. Some of my canned goods, some margarine because we do a lot of making my oldest daughter she does a lot of baking she'll make a lot of chocolate chip cookies and we do granola and things like that uh, we've got the jiff cornbread mix i do a casserole with that and it's really good and the kids eat it really well uh, my husband loves yogurt and we have strawberries frozen strawberries on order from sam's for tomorrow for him smoothies for work we got the cabbage, uh, we do boiled cabbage, pinto beans, things like that. Uh, meatless meals a lot, they're cheaper. Even though we do have a freezer full of meat, we still try to mix in meatless meals. Um, there's the salted almonds. I love the, uh, I think they're called quick breaks or the, I can't remember exactly the name of them, but they have the, the dried fruit and the nuts and the little cheese they're the convenience. They're really expensive, so I've learned to start making my own. I've, I've bought a measuring uh, scale to measure out the weight and stuff so that I can get the same calorie count as what's in those, and it's really half the price, or probably more than that. Honey mustard for our five-year-old who absolutely can drink the stuff. So I bought like three bottles to get us through a month. Uh, fabric softener because I hang our clothes out to dry when I feel like it. And it's not raining, which it's been raining a ton here lately. Hawaiian punch, just a treat for the kids. Barbecue sauce, some different sauces to refill our pantry back up. Coffee creamer, some Pop-Tarts. They're quick breakfast when I don't feel like getting up and cooking, which we do a lot of freezer cooking, a lot of muffins, granola, pancakes, waffles, things like that. Uh, buns, french fries, uh, this haul that I'm showing you, it includes a lot of my cleaning stuff too. So my Comet and my Clorox and things like that are included in my total cost at the end of this video. So um, here's our drinks. They had to substitute the Cokes. We normally just stick with the Sam's Cola brand. It tastes just as good to us and my husband drinks a lot of tea. So it saves us a lot of money doing the generic brands instead of the uh, big brands. A lot of sugar and flour. We have the storage buckets that we fill up with flour and sugar because we do a lot of homemade baking. You see a couple loaves of bread. I picked those up, but now we normally make our own bread. It's just convenient, easy for me to have sandwiches for the kids and with four kids and a husband and me we go through a loaf of bread a day so to break down what we've spent um this week just this haul right here was 180 dollars um last week we went it was the end of june and i picked up enough stuff to get me from june till today so it was a little bit of july 
Uh, that order was $121. And then the Sam's haul that I'm gonna show you tomorrow, it will be, it was $154.64. So adding everything up, we're gonna have come in at $456 this month for groceries, which is really good. So we spent $456 and that was really, I could trim that way down if I wanted to. It's just, we have room in our budget. We do Dave Ramsey and we have the EverDollar app that we use and we had the room in the budget this month just to do a little more convenience. Uh, if things get tight or if we ever needed to trim down, we could trim way down. I know you don't see any meat, but last month we did take our hogs to the processor and in January we took steers, so we have those and we looked up on the deal of chicken back when the pandemic started, so we stocked up and bought like 100 pounds of chicken. So we're good on meat. Um, how to help you save money on your meat purchases, I would say just shop what's on sale. And another way that that we're saving money is I have started doing a monthly menu plan. I just get on my computer and I put down a list of everything we're gonna have for dinner for the entire month. And then I make a list of snacks and breakfast foods and lunch food ideas for our family. Um, we have fruit trees that have produced fresh fruit, so not really needing to buy fruit, but what we'll do as far as milk, normally I freeze that too, but we're out of room in our freezer right now. Um, for the, the stuff that we run out of, we've got a little room left in our budget, so mid-month or towards the end of the month, we'll go do just to pick up on maybe more milk, fresh fruit and vegetables, things like that if we need them. But uh, vegetables are probably pretty good. We have the garden, so a lot of that stuff's coming in. We really don't need much from the grocery store. In fact, we could probably get by without having to go. It's just, I like the convenience of having some of the stuff for the kids and just for my own sanity right now. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or wanna learn anything or have anything to add, or if you can help me learn to save more money on our groceries, drop them in the comments. And be sure and like and subscribe and check back with us soon because I will be uploading our sounds haul pretty quick. Thanks guys. <laughs>